All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here again, talking about real music in real time for some real people just like you, just like me. All right, before I get going, I totally underpromoted this amazing album, Peter H. Nilsson. Um, this is his second full length album. And I got to tell you, I'm a huge fan of this guy. He's kind of a, a solo artist from Sweden. And he works with this singer from Nashville, Chris Biano. And um, this is Sign of Myself, which is his second full length album, courtesy of AOR Heaven, which I believe is now a defunct record label. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I haven't checked their website in a while, but um, Peter is just a really cool guy. Nice guy. Not only that, the music is kind of hypnotic. It's that old school, late night AOR sounding stuff. It's not too heavy, but it's it's got substance to it. It's kind of like what maybe like Russ Ballard would do uh, if he were, you know, still out there putting out music. Um, Russ had a few albums, a couple of things on the Miami Vice soundtrack and a writer for a lot of other artists. Um, but this has kind of like a Russ Ballard feel to me. Chris Biano, great singer. Seriously, check this out. Um, if you have an opportunity to just maybe listen to it and stream it. Sign of Myself, I guarantee you, you're going to like this a lot. Uh, and maybe you can get a physical copy out there somewhere. I'm not sure if they're still available. All right, let's get into it here with Neil Sean possibly saying that Steve Perry is jealous. I'm not sure uh, what Steve Perry is jealous of, but Neil Sean put out a tweet uh, that a few outlets picked up on. I'm not really uh, in the Brown River over on Twitter, but I have ways to get over there if I need to see stuff. And uh, it's interesting. Uh, sometimes this is what Neil says in the tweet happened a couple of days ago. Sometimes your emotions get the better of you, but like anything that's funky, you lose it and it all disappears. Okay. Anything that's funky. Uh, and then he puts a dash and says forever music comma back to the music. And then the kicker is the very last sentence where he says, jealousy is a real sickness. Jealousy is a real sickness. Um, maybe he wasn't directing that at Steve Perry. Look, Neil Sean, like I said in the other videos, I think really wants to get along with Steve Perry at this point in his life, but it isn't working. Uh, Neil Sean tried very hard during the Traces era to downplay some of the crazy stuff that Steve Perry was saying, which um, the stuff wasn't crazy like Steve was crazy, but just crazy in the sense that, wow, Steve Perry is still mad at these guys. He's still mad at Jonathan Cain, still mad at Neil Sean. You know, one of the things uh, that I forgot about was Jonathan Kane in one of those documentaries, I think the VH1 doc, uh, is talking about the phone call he made with Steve Perry. And Perry says to him, now, if you do this, there's, there's like no coming back from this. There's no like reversing what you guys are about to do. And Jonathan Kane's like, yeah, I know. And I don't think Jonathan Kane at that moment realized how serious Steve Perry was when he said that. That wasn't an idle statement. That wasn't like me just saying, you know, a throwaway phrase like, hey, if you do this, you know, there's 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 no coming back from this. It was more like, you know, if you do this, things are gonna the the reinterpretation, the translation could have been, you know, if you do this, I'm gonna make your life miserable and I'm not gonna go away. And you don't realize that this breakup, what you're going to do here is going to have never ending consequences. Now, again, I'm not trying to take a side, believe it or not. There, there have been moments during this, how many years I've been doing this, that I've said, well, I think Neil is in the right over here. 
or I think people are being too hard on Jonathan Cain over here, or Steve Perry is a genius and he kind of flies above all of this stuff. And these guys are just trying to grab onto his cape, you know, like he's Superman, you know, and I think Neil Sean uh, tried really hard to almost pretend that Perry wasn't saying these bad things a few years ago. And then we have the coup. And again, my theory, it's a theory, okay, that that was a real coup attempt. Perry wanted the band back and people are saying to me, well, there's no way that Steve would have went on out there with Journey on tour without Neil Sean. Here's my other theory. I think Steve wanted to take it over to shut it down. That's what I think he wanted to do. You know, and the reason I say that is because what's Ross Valerie doing these days? What's Steve Smith? Now, Steve might be doing some of his jazz stuff, but it's not high profile. He's doing the stuff that he likes to do and probably in small dosages, right? And what's Steve Perry doing? Nothing. You know, essentially, uh, I think all of those, those three guys wanted to sit back and kind of oversee the legacy of the band, maybe repackage stuff, maybe remaster some things. I've mentioned that journey could be doing these videos online, like YouTube videos, animated videos, uh, concept videos like the Beatles when they did uh, Here Comes the Sun, kind of resurrecting a lot of footage and uh, seeing George. That is just an amazing video to watch that, just to see George Harrison uh, and all these different things from like the 60s. Uh, I mean, it's really smart. And probably what a billion people have watched it. And if not, it'll hit a billion views soon. It's not going to take all that long. I think if you just managed this brand, you could still make a lot of money and not have to be road warriors. You have the biggest song in download history and you're sitting on a gold mine here. And Perry's like, you know, instead of these guys going out there with Arnell and, you know, Remember what Steve Perry said about Arnell at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Arnell was completely like smitten and was like, oh my gosh, it's Steve Perry. That's my idol. Duh, that's what you're supposed to do, Arnell. But Steve Perry said Arnell sings his heart out every night. Where's Arnell? You know, uh, shout out to Arnell. He didn't say, man, here's a guy who sings like nobody's, there is a difference between saying, you know, Hey, he, he really tries hard. He sings his heart out. Um, he's really, and he does, he's so into it, but that wasn't like a full blown compliment from Perry. That was just him saying, Hey, this kid really works hard. Even though he wasn't a kid, he was like in his forties, early fifties or whatever at the time. But that was Steve Perry's very diplomatic way of handling the situation and then, yeah, he said a whole bunch of nice stuff about everybody there. Um, and it was just great. I think everybody had a super positive experience at the Hall of Fame because I think Steve was just trying to be diplomatic and gracious. And that wasn't the time to start throwing lawsuits out there, right? He did thank his attorney. <laughs> Maybe that was a sign of things to come. But if Neil Sean basically is saying that, look, Steve Perry is jealous of me, I mean, that's going to just not, I don't know, it won't reverberate well <laughs> throughout eternity. And I'm not saying that there might not be some truth to it. Maybe Steve Perry does miss the limelight. But like I say, he could have a band. He could be out there if he wanted to. He could sell out medium size, probably even some large size places if he wanted to do that. I envision Steve doing more intimate performances and selling out like small amphitheaters, having this really great band that's kind of like a yacht rockish style band to kind of tune it down and to make it not so loud and crazy. I mean, they could rework some of the material and they could focus on some of Steve's solo material that you don't get to hear on the radio anymore or whatever. And um, you know what? I think it would be a big hit if you wanted to do that. 
My guess is based on the last 20 years of Steve's life is that no, I think he just wants to manage the affairs uh, from the past and maybe make the most out of this brand. And now there's this struggle session between himself and Neil Sean, who along with the tweet about Steve Perry is basically, you know, telling folks what copyright law is, what trademark law is, and it's different. You know, that kicker line, jealousy is a real sickness. That almost implies that Steve Perry needs to get help. I mean, he's got a real sickness, this jealousy thing. Um, and that taken off the gloves a little bit, like the last exchange uh, about, you know, peeling back the onion. Does Neil Sean have stuff that he's going to just unload about, you know, their relationship or about uh, the legal situation? I don't know. I really don't know. You know, I was more plugged in with some of this stuff a few years ago. I had a couple of relationships that I think um, I could kind of use as leverage here and there to try to get information out there. Um, of course, most of it I was sworn not to talk about, and I still really haven't said much about anything that happened in those days other than this is really complicated. Uh, and I think Neil and John wanted to go on. They wanted to keep this brand alive. They thought the best way to do that would be to perform live. But I'm almost now under the impression that they should have not fractured the stone, gone on and done their own thing with a new name. Certainly they could perform journey songs. They wouldn't be journey, right? But they could still go out there and perform journey songs and maybe write some new music and make kind of a half and half thing um, and not call it journey, right? Just let that brand be retired or let it work on its own. You know, after the Sopranos, they probably could have all retired, right? Because once that song became the most downloaded song and the most talked about song and it's everywhere, um, those guys could probably have just said, look, we don't need to be Journey anymore. I know Neil Sean uh, likes to play guitar, obviously. You could see him probably on Twitter every day playing guitar. Uh, so it's not something that I think is just a hobby for him at this stage in his life. You know, that is important to him. On the other side of the coin is Steve Perry, you know, who... I think is content with his life. He's been living kind of a reclusive and secluded life for a number of years. I don't think he craves the spotlight. He's, he's talked about this over and over again, but I think he is a stickler for detail. And I don't think that he's going to ever surrender, uh, you know, any financial benefit from this brand He's not going to just roll over and allow Neil and, J and John to do whatever they want to with it. And maybe Neil and John are entitled to do whatever they want to with these trademark things. I, I don't know. I'm not a legal expert. But the fact that Perry came out and said, hey, not so fast. And Neil says, hey, you haven't heard the last of me. I'm just going to peel back the onion here. And then jealousy is a real sickness. That, that's got to be aimed at Steve Perry. That's got, and, and Neil, like I have been saying, if you look at, you know, Hey, we're going to have a coffee someday. Hey, we're going to hang out. Hey, you're welcome back to the band anytime you want. Arnell's like, Hey, I'd gladly step aside. It's almost like maybe they should retire soon. I know they're making lots of money, but maybe they should retire and just work this thing out. You know, uh, Neil's the youngest one. He's not even 70. I think he's what, 67, 68, something like that. Jonathan Cain is in his seventies. Um, Steve Perry is in his set well into his seventies now. Uh, you know, and the other players, I think Ross Valerie and Steve Smith and, you know, the, the new guys in the group. Yeah. Those guys, now that they've played in journey, they can probably earn a decent living playing music, Jason Derlotka, for instance, who's a great singer. Dean Castronovo, who 
got back into the band and Dean's a great guy, but you know, <laughs> does he like all the drama? Probably not. I don't know. I'm sure he's just happy to be there and to support this band. Um, but Dean's a real talented guy. He could be in generation radio right now. He could be, uh, you know, doing his own solo career, probably. I mean, the guy can still sing and he sings all of the Perry stuff in the original key. So anyway, I don't know, people. I don't know. Uh, this is drama. This is as the journey turns. Um, but Neil here kind of, again, much like when the feud started with Jonathan Cain. I mean, I think things are going to get a lot more interesting before they calm down. So uh, it's good for the channel, right? It's good for my channel. It's good for uh, YouTubers. It's good for people that uh, want a distraction from the real crap that's going on in the world right now, which is a hundred times more important than um, the legal battle within the band journey. So that's just another thing to kind of take into consideration there, right? I mean, this is a good distraction maybe, uh, but again, it should be about the music. The music should be the important thing. And I'll tell you what, this is some great music from Peter H. Nielsen. You got to check this out if you haven't heard it. Uh, Sign of Myself, uh, cool, very cool album cover and uh, the inside. Um, there's Peter, very unassuming regular guy who knows how to play guitar and write songs and uh, grew up listening to all of the great AOR music from the 70s and 80s and uh, knows how to translate that into 2021 or 2022. Just a, a terrific album. And that's it. That's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel again. Uh, ring that bell for notifications. Patreon, if you want to give on the landing or banner of the YouTube channel, there is the Patreon logo. If you want to sign up, you click on that. That'll take you to Patreon. It'll say some stuff about me. It'll say, you know, hey, do you want to give a dollar a month? And it's it's pretty easy to do that. Uh, it supports the channel. And um, then you and I can talk about this journey issue or whatever issue over on Patreon. It's a cool place for people to converse about uh, these, you know, life-changing issues like lawsuits within the band journey. All right. See you soon, everybody. Thanks for watching.